Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make a homemade blueberry sauce. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, there's really the blue, fresh blueberries, or you can use frozen in a really thick sauce. I'm just going to give that a try. Well, it's really nice. It's got the tanginess of the blueberries. I mean, really highlights the flavor of the blueberries with a little sweetness to it. So this is really easy to make. And, it, and you know, you can use fresh or frozen blueberries. I've done it both ways. And what you will need is a medium-sized saucepan. And you will need about a pound, which is 450 grams, of blueberries. Like I said, fresh or frozen. And that would be, if you want to go by volume, three cups. So just put that in your saucepan. Now make sure you wash your blueberries and pick through them and get rid of any soft ones. And if there's any stems, which I notice I still have a few, I'll just pick those off. Let's take those off and put them in there. And then to that, we need some sugar. Now you can use anywhere from three quarters of a cup to a cup of sugar. That's 150 grams to 200 grams, depending on the sweetness of your uh, berries. So taste them. If they're really sweet, which some of them are, you could probably use less sugar. And if they're a little tangy, then add more. You can always adjust your sugar later as well. And then you will need um, some water. I like to add about two thirds of a cup, 160 milliliters, just of tap water. Now, if you're using frozen though, blueberries, I find because there is a lot of water, I kind of te uh, tend to cut that water back to at least about a half a cup, 120 milliliters. And then we will need, I like to add like just a pinch, like an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I don't know, I like cinnamon and blueberries to me just go together. Again, you can leave that out. And then just a little pinch, eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And then we need a thickener. So I'm adding two and a half teaspoons, which is eight grams of cornstarch. You may know that as corn flour, because we need, that'll just help them thicken all the juices. So now we're just gonna stir that together and put that on medium heat. And we're going to bring it up to a simmer. Okay, so now at a simmer. So you may have to adjust your heat down a little. So what we want this to do is cook away at a simmer until we, the juices thicken, the blueberries start to break down. And the long, of course, the longer you cook this, the more thick the sauce will be. So I find at least 10 minutes. And just judge by how thick you want it to be, but the juices should be clear and nice and thick. Okay, that looks good. This is about after 10 minutes. So I'm happy with this nice, thick, clear sauce. So I'm going to remove that from the heat. Now, remember, there's a couple of things. Remember, as this cools down, it will thicken up. So keep that in mind. But if you would like it a little thicker, then by all means, just leave it on a little longer. So now, I like to flavor my blueberry sauce. I'm going to add just like a little bit of vanilla extract, like an eighth of a teaspoon. You can leave that out if you prefer not. I find it just adds to the blueberry flavor. And then I like to add a little um, lemon zest and lemon juice. You, again, you could use an orange, or you could even use a lime, or you could just leave it out. So always wash your lemon really well. Use organic if you can. And I'm just putting like maybe a teaspoon. Only um, grate the outer yellow skin. You don't want that white underneath kind of bitter tasting, which we don't want our sauce to be. Just a little. 
And then I'm actually going to add a little juice. If you kind of press down on your lemon before you cut it, it kind of gets the, softens it up. It's easier to get the juice out. And I find, you know, maybe a, a tablespoon or less, really, you can just do it to taste and then just stir that. Okay. So we want that now to cool down. I actually, if I'm gonna make some, I like to make it the day before and then cool it down, put it in some kind of jar. I actually like to use these canning jars, kind of look cool and nice way to store. And then just let it chill overnight. And like I said, it will thicken. Now, if say the next day, and this has happened to me, you kind of look and go, it's a little too thin. All you have to do is just pour the sauce back in a pot and just cook it a little longer and uh, get it a little thicker if that's what you want. Because sometimes, especially the first time, it's hard to judge how thick you want it to be. So now I'm just going to let that cool down and then put it in a jar and put it in the fridge. It'd be good for probably about a week and enjoy. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Thank you.